What's up, MSFers? We've got a lot to cover, so let's jump into it. You're going to need to earn allied supply orbs in the Alliance-wide event starting today. We also have to win battles in Crucible. A little bit of confusion on whether you should have had your Sinister Six on defense for that first round or not. If you want more on that, be sure to check out the Big Positive Geeks video. He has an awesome thumbnail on this, not to mention he's putting a lot of production value into his videos, really coming along. Give the guy a subscription. I think you're going to enjoy his content. The Black Cat Trials have returned, and boy, Boylan has a breakdown of that for you. He says that with the introduction of the new Sinister Six members, it's going to be a lot easier to get a lot further in those trials. From the data mines, we've got word of a new Mega Gold Orb coming to Marvel Strike Force. 1 million to 100 million gold. Now I asked the statisticians here at Run7 Studios what my odds were of getting that jackpot drop, and they said, don't worry about it, it's not going to happen to you. Also, we've got the Road Ahead blog in the data mines again. This time, however, it does not talk about a new progression system. I do believe that that old data mine was referencing diamonds and now they took it out. That Road Ahead blog looks like it will be coming soon. If you want a breakdown of all this information, be sure to check out Tana's video as he goes over those data mines. If you're having trouble in Incursion 2.2 bio section, don't worry. The Ambassador's struggling to get through it too. He's using Super Scroll in conjunction with Peggy when she stays alive to get through those nodes, and you can watch his video on how he does it. Now, if you're looking to get through Incursion 2.2 bio section without Super Scroll, I recommend you look into the uninstall button and go touch some grass, because it ain't gonna happen. And finally, the best thing to happen last night was actually a double whammy from Valley Flying and then Benny Westside. Benny Westside bringing to life Spider Slayer through skill and technical savvy in one of the most interesting cosplays I've seen all year. He has the ISO and T4 breakdowns as well. Be sure to check out his video, but then head on over to Valley Flyin's channel and look at the breakdown of how you can acquire Spider Slayer. He goes deep into the offers. Now I'll touch on this. This first offer is basically for Krakens only who want to max out the stars early on this character. Then we've got the bundled abilities for Green Goblin Classic in with these offers, which kind of feels bad if you didn't really want to buy Spider Slayer. These abilities are only for sale so far. If you're cheap like me, you might look into this $25 offer on the left just so you can unlock him and use him in some of those campaign nodes. A quick note before I leave off, Mysterio had his in-game text changed to how his ability actually works. That's a win for the community. Even with a three-phase rollout of a new update yesterday, game stability still Still seems to be an issue with Marvel Strike Force. And if you're still playing Marvel Strike Force, congratulations, you're one of the most resilient people on the planet. For more of the latest, I'm Run7, bringing you yesterday's news today. You're gonna need to earn allied supply orbs in the. Uh, uh. The heck is this?